my goodness, you caught me again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, tonight on Five Minutes In, I get to spend five minutes inside Terry Ward, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the world yes. renowned. I dare say, Terry, you are the world renowned Terry Ward. Well, I wouldn't know if it was world re renowned, but you know, I have I'm, I'm like a a big fish in a little pond. Mm. <laughs> I've been close to you. I can vouch for that, according to the smell. <laughs> You've been to England. You've been I have. To England. Do you know yes. England? In England, they say yogurt. Did you know that? I did not. Hmm. Well, what is it referred to? Yogurt. Yogurt. Oh, yogurt. Yeah, but they call oh, I didn't know. Yogurt. I didn't know that. Now, Terry, I wanted to talk to you, Terry, because you and I have a lot in common, I think. We do. Because people see us perform, uh -huh. and they often think this person will be fantastic at my, my business meeting. Yes. And then we show up, and it's like somebody just fart into an electric fan. <laughs> in <that> direction. <laughs> so, I want to know, Terry Ward, have you ever had like one of those gigs where you're like, this is going over like a rubber crutch in a hospital ward? I did. I had one of those years ago. It was for a group that was involved with a nudist colony. Go on. And um, so I showed up to the house and I did the show and I kind of, I was trying to be, you know, very, very like casual. I wasn't trying to, and, but the moment that I went blue, I was like, oh, this is where they wanted to go. And so then suddenly, suddenly about halfway through the show, I figured out, oh, this is what, what they're wanting, what they wanted more of. So the moment I went blue and then I just kept on going. I remember getting paid at the end. I went up to get the check and I turned in the lady who was, um, uh, got up to help me at one point in time, who's wearing these, um, pantyhose that had like panthers on them well she didn't have anything on anymore and she had little things of uh like cool whip or cream sure sure and one of the neighbors one of the neighbors was cleaning it up really good that was like my oddest show ever except for actually working at the nudist colony in Kissimmee oh see I'm gonna surprise you with this but drag shows don't go over well in a nudist colony. <laughs> well, only, yeah, no, they wouldn't, I guess. Well, the illusion is gone the minute you walk out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Luckily, I, I was able to wear clothes. <laughs> that was nobody, nobody needs to see that. Well, you know, you say that, but then you go to a nudist colony and you think, oh, my Lord. <laughs> because I've gone and, and been to the one in Kissimmee as well. And I've asked my friends to go with me, Terry, and they always say the same thing. They say, I can't go to the nudist colony. What if I get a boner? <laughs> you won't. <laughs> no. There is Probably. nothing boner worthy at a nude beach. <laughs> so you say nobody wants to see that, but I mean, let's be honest. Now, Terry, does it bother you when people call you just a magician? Do yeah. you fancy yourself an actor? Because I've never seen you in, like, Terry Ward in Death of a Salesman. No, I've never done um, that heavy of an acting piece, but I did a lot of uh, pieces early on. It was just difficult to commit to them in this town because uh, I do so many outside gigs and events that, uh, you know, an acting piece always took up so much time. Sure, sure. Yeah. Actually committing to a job, it does take up time. It yeah. does, yes. Yeah. Now, so when, at what point, like this is my question for everybody, sorry. <clears throat> this is the question everybody gets, Terry Ward. What bit you? What made you decide I'm gonna be a magician? I'm gonna pursue the panty dropping woman getting job of being <laughs> a magician? <laughs> um, when I was, a kid, you know, and we moved a lot. I was a military brat, so we moved a lot. And uh, I figured out when you did a trick for somebody, it kind of relaxed them and it made it easier to make friends. So I, I was bit by uh, a trick that my dad gave me and I just kind of kept going 
and finding other effects and things along the way that added to my show. I can very much agree that turning a trick for somebody definitely does make you their friend. <laughs> I can tell you, because I started doing magic in, um, in Tijuana back in the 70s. I was known for making several things disappear. Oh, were there ping pong balls involved? No, actually, there were billiard balls. Oh, I, well. I, well this was, I missed the grand opening. Yeah. Ooh, and, it, and the opening was grand, Terry. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Now, here's my question for you, Terry. What is the first trick you ever performed for money? Do you remember that one? The first professional acting, or sorry. You know what, I don't like that question because we already asked it, so I'm gonna cut that out. Okay. Um, um, let's see, what have I, what have I got? Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, oh, okay. We'll just go to you doing your trick. No. Oh, okay. all right. All right, now, Terry, do you think you could entertain me and my fives of, of listeners? I'd be glad to. I'd be oh, glad to. Because we have a deck of cards, do all you? different. Yes. All right. Uh, do you happen to have a uh, particular suit that you're fond of? Do you like the clubs, the hearts, the spades, or the diamonds? I've got to say, being the giving, loving person that I am, it's the diamonds. It's got to be the diamonds. Yes. I, I would agree with you. Because out of the 13 said. different diamonds that there are, is there a particular diamond that you're uh, particularly fond of? Ooh. I, well, being well, being me, I've got to say, Terry, it is the Queen of Diamonds. So for you, I will find the Queen of Diamonds. Oh, here, here we go. Five. Couple cuts. Infinite. Couple cuts. <laughs> One cut here. Ooh. One more cut, just for good. And right here. One more. Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Ward, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Now that is honestly, for, for those of us in the civilian world, that is, that is something. That is, that is a lovely gift that you have. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. I spent now, a lot of time looking at myself in a mirror. Yes, well, who hasn't? And yet, <laughs> and yet after all that time in the mirror, you still go out looking like that. That is yes. <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> Terry, it's time for it's time for my favorite portion of the show. I would like to call it Sophie's Choice. All right. I'm gonna give you two choices. You pick one. Okay. Rapid fire, Terry. First one. Chris Angel or David Blaine? David Blaine. Really? You think it's magical to freeze yourself in an ice cube for seven days? No, but it takes a certain amount of uh, stamina to do it. Well. I I've done a lot of things that take stamina. <laughs> oh, the New York Knicks, 1979. <laughs> Those were the... Um, Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Netflix. What are you currently watching on the Netflix? I am watching uh, um, a show called uh, Paul Dark. Paul Dark. Paul Dark. Mm, easy for you to say. <laughs> Would you rather have bad breath or B.O. for the rest of your life? Bad breath. Well, we've got something to tell you, Terry. You <laughs> already won that one. <coughs> Skydiving. I'll let you cough. All right. Skydiving or scuba diving? Scuba diving. Have you been? No. Me neither. I'm afraid I'll get harpooned. <laughs> I'm certain there's no chance of that happening. Uh, you don't know. The last <laughs> time I was at the beach, somebody yelled, beached whale, and before I could look, eight people were covering my blowhole and pouring water on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it all depends on what they were covering your blowhole with. It could have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, what, my, my last question for you, Terry, if heaven exists, what will St. Peter... I'm going to start it again. Okay. Terry, my last question for you. If heaven exists, what would you like St. Peter to say to you before he opens the gates and lets you in? You're late. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you.
You're Thank welcome. You. That is the first time somebody's answered that appropriately. <laughs> and Carrie, thank you for doing this. My goodness, now's your chance. I've been in you for almost five minutes. It's your chance to plug me, Terry. <laughs> where can we find you? Where, where can we look up Terry Ward? Uh, well, uh, um, you can look at my website, which is uh, Terry at performerterryward.com. Your website is Terry, wait. Well, it's performerterryward.com. Yeah. Okay, say that again. Where can we find you? Performerterryward.com. That's your website. It's my website, yes. And you look at that often. Like you get on your little computer and you look at that. I check it out on occasion just to make sure it's working correctly. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So we can go to terrywardperformer.com for all of our magic needs. Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, you should. Well, well, I can't say that my computer won't shut down if I go to a website <laughs> like that, Terry, but this has been fun. You're yes, a it has. And please tell Sheila I said hello. I will tell her. I you like take Sheila. care of yourself and be safe out there. Oh, my goodness, you're very bossy. But tell <laughs> Sheila I said hello because if I'm being honest, I do like her better than I like you. So, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but I don't think that's, that's unusual. No. No, probably not. I think that's it. Let me see if I'm done recording. Stop recording.